Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and this is part 4, or also known as the final video of how to make a working shop in Roblox Studio. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to add items very easily into the shop. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is copy the image and just drag it over here, like I'll just put it right here. And then rename it to your new item. So I'm going to do a sword. And then you can copy the text, put it right under there, and then do the same thing. So sword, text. Okay, and after that, go to the properties of the text and just change it to uh, your item. So in my case, that's a sword. And then set your new price for it. So I want the sword to cost $700. So I'll just make it $700. So now we just need to do the image. And you might remember from episode one, uh, like how I got the image on. So I'll just do the exact same thing, but with a sword. But first, we need to get a sword. So toolbox, and I'll just insert a sword. OK, and no. Uh, so there, here we have a sword. If you watch episode one, you'll know how to screenshot and insert it. So I'll just quickly do that. So I have inserted the sword image right here. Um, so after that, what you can do is take your item, in my case, the sword, and just put it under the replicated storage. And I'm actually just going to rename it to just sword. Just like that. So now we have the key card and the sword on the shop all done. So what we can do now is go into the local script, centralized, and here is the copy and pasting part. So first, we need to copy and paste the button. So just copy and paste that. Change key card button into your item. So sword button and change this one into a uh, sword because that's what we named it. Copy the max key card and then just change key card to your item. So in my case, that's going to be a sword. And then after that, go into the replicated storage, duplicate the remote event and change the key card into your item so in my case that will be a sword and then go back to the script uh, over here I'll zoom in a bit uh, copy this entire line of code paste it right there change by key card into by sword and change by key card in here into by sword after that you can copy this entire thing over here and just paste it down here. Change key card button into sword button. Change max key card into max sword. And then change max key card into max sword again on this one. And then change by key card into by sword. And change max key card into by sword. So it should look like something like this, pretty similar, but all the key cards have been changed into sword. And then lastly, change the value. So we set as $700, so just change these two numbers in here as $700. So after that, we can go into the shop manager script and also just do a little bit of copying. So just copy this, paste it in, change key card into sword and change key card over here into sword and then copy this and then change key card into sword and change key card into sword so basically just change like all the things you copy everything you have on the previous item and just change it to the completely new item and then copy this entire thing and then change key card to your item so sword and then change new key card into sword and change key card into sword and change new key card into sword and that should be it so that is how simple it is to add in a new item into the shop and the last thing i'm going to do is just give myself some extra cash and testing wise so let's go test it out. So I did forget to make the shop invisible, but it still works. Um, but anyways, over here we have key card. We can buy it. We lose 500 cash. We have a key card. 
And then we can buy a sword. We lose 700 cash. And now we have a sword. That was pretty loud. And you see, we now have a sword. Pretty cool. And if we try to buy any of them, you can see that uh, the text message maximum amount bought appears. And just, just for testing purposes, I'm going to show you that the max uh, actually works. Okay, let's say I wanted the player to buy more than one key card. Then what I can do is just simply change this number and this number all to two. Uh, just keep this as one and you should be fine. And let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. I can buy a key card. I lose 500 cash. I have a key card. And as you can see, I can buy another key card just like that. I now have two identical key cards. And as you can see, I can't buy a third one because I bought the maximum amount. And I can't buy the sword because I don't have enough cash. So yeah, that'll be it for part 4 of the shop series, also known as the final video. If you enjoyed the series, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And tell me if you want to see me create any other series. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!